Hi there, it's Marve from Academic and welcome to my course. I hope this course will be beneficial and useful for you. So let's start with present tenses. The present tenses course will be in two parts and this is part one. In this part we will be covering the simple present tense and present continuous tense, okay? So let's start with the present simple or simple present tense. In which ways do we use present simple tense? What is its structure or in what ways do we use it? What does it mean? Let's look at the examples. I like gardening. Here, as you see, we have a subject, which is I, and the basic form of a verb, like. I like gardening. I like gardening. There is no ing, there is no post participle. We just simply say, I like gardening. In terms of meaning, it means something general. I generally like gardening, not for today. I like gardening in my whole life. Okay, it's something general. So we use simple present for the things that happen all the time, okay? So let's look at the another example. I drink a cup of coffee every morning. I drink one at home and I drink another one when I get to work. Okay, here again as you see, I drink. The subject is someone, I, and the basic form of the verb, I drink, I like. But the meaning is different here. It's talking about a habit, right? I drink a cup of coffee every morning. This is a habit of mine. I drink it every day. I do it every day. If you are talking about a habit, you can use simple present tense because it happens like all the time. Okay, so far we have just seen the subject I, but what if we have the subject pronoun such as he, she, or it? Okay, let's have a look at them. He, she, or it. When we have these pronouns as subjects, we should use an extra S to the verb, but with only positive sentences, okay? When we're making a positive sentence, which is which has a subject of he, she, or it, we should put an extra S. But with negative or question sentences, we should use does or doesn't, or does not, let's say. And of course, we change the order when we're making a question sentence. Let's look at a positive one. Taylor works at the bank. Taylor works at the bank. We put an S to the verb work, right? Taylor works at the bank. If it was I, you, we, they, okay, we could, we could say I work, you work, uh, they work at the bank. But with Taylor, for he, she, or it, we should say works, works, okay? Let's look at a negative one. It doesn't usually snow in October. It doesn't usually snow. It's not something usual for it to snow in October. So we have used doesn't and also the basic form of the verb again, not an S again, okay? Does not snow. So for the questions we say, does the supermarket sell stamps? Sell, not sells again here because it's not a positive sentence, it's a question. And of course, we change the order of the sentence, like, does the supermarket sell? Does the supermarket sell? We use a does because it's it, okay? And the supermarket sell, the basic form of the verb sell. So as you see here, we use do or does not, and we put the basic form of the verb like do, have, or like. Do you like? Do you have? Does it have? Okay, not does it has, not does it does, all right? Do you take milk in your coffee? Do you take milk in your coffee? And the answer can be, no, I don't. You don't have to say, no, I don't take milk in my coffee. I like it black. You can simply say, no, I don't. This is a short answer for do and does questions, okay? And if you want to ask a WH question like who, where, when, what, why, you should just put the WH question at the beginning of the sentence and make a regular question sentence, okay? Like, why do you read? Why do you read news online every day? Why do you read news online every day? This is a habit of yours and I wonder why do you read every day? And these were the basic use of simple present tense. Let's look at the present continuous tense. 
Again, we have a subject like someone, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, whatever. And then we have am, is, or are, okay, depending on the subject. If it's I, we should say I am, I'm. If it's you, you are, he, she, or it is, right? And then we put an ing form of a verb like doing, going, eating, playing, having, whatever. It's always the ing form. It doesn't matter which continuous form you use, like present perfect continuous, future continuous, present continuous, whatever. You always use the ing form of a verb, okay? Don't forget this. And let's look at the example. Just a minute, I'm checking my email. Now, we can understand that we use present continuous in this way for the things that are temporarily happening, that are happening at the moment, right now, okay? Let's move on. He isn't answering his mobile phone at the moment. So it's not something general, right? It's something happening right now, at the moment. He isn't answering. And for question, we say, is it raining now? Just like does the supermarket, we say, is it raining now? So we just change the order of the sentence, right? Is it raining now? Yes, it's raining. No, it's not raining. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay? So let's move on to the another examples. I'm seeing the doctor on Monday morning. Okay, here as you see, it says it's talking about the future, right? It's not Monday today but I'm seeing the doctor on Monday morning. It's something planned for the future, something arranged. So we can use present continuous tense while talking about the future for something planned. Like we're having dinner this evening. We have arranged this meeting, right? They're talking about the future. They have something planned, something arranged. Okay, other than this, we can use it also for complaining, for something that bothers us. Okay, when you're complaining, you can use present continuous tense, like my son is always playing on his cell phone. Okay, my son, I don't want my son to play on his mobile phone like all the time, but he does. And I'm really annoyed about this. So I, while I'm complaining, I can say my son is always. And the point here is we can use always, right? With present continuous tense here. My son is always playing. You are always picking on me. Stop picking on me. I'm really bothered. Please. You're always picking on me. What does pick on? It means to criticize, right? Stop criticizing me. I'm really annoyed. So I'm complaining. Okay, we have one more use of present continuous tense, something that we cannot make a continuous tense actually. So there are some words that we cannot use with present continuous tense, even when we're talking about right now. Okay, these are some verbs that are related to feelings or thinking, like hear, see, smell, hate, know, need, believe, want, and understand. Okay, we cannot make a continuous tense with these ones. Like we cannot say hearing, seeing. So let's look at the examples to understand better. Could you explain that again? I'm not understanding. We cannot say I'm not understanding, even if we mean right now. Yes, I'm not understanding, actually, but we can't use I'm not understanding. We should use I don't understand. Could you explain that again? I don't understand right now. I don't understand at the moment. But we say I don't understand in the present simple structure, okay? Not in continuous form. Let's look forward. I don't know why, but I feel like something bad is about to happen. I don't know why. I don't know why right now, but I now I feel like something bad is about to happen. Or I totally understand, understand again here, I totally understand what you have been going through and you need someone to talk right now. And you need right now, you need someone to talk right now, but we use present simple form, right? Not continuous tense.
Okay, I have two questions for you. Think of them and answer accordingly, okay? The first one is, which of these sentences best describes a habit? Hmm, a habit. Remember, I have smoked 20 cigarettes a day. This is something bad, okay? And I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. Which one is a habit? I don't say which one is grammatically correct. I say which one is a habit. Okay, if you said B, yes, that's right. I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. This is a habit. This is even a bad habit, right? This is a bad habit. I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. I smoke every day. So let's move on to the last question. Which one is correct? I am wanting to buy that dress right now. Or I want to buy that dress right now. Which one do you think is correct? If you said B again, yes, you're right. I want to buy that dress right now. I want it right now, but I can't use it with present continuous form, right? Want is one of those verbs. Don't forget. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you learned new things. And I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye.